Now I've driven rental carts, even won a karting championship. I've done uh, a lot of sim racing, even participated in some low level esports, and I've tested an LO206 before, but nothing compares to what I'm about to experience tomorrow. As someone who aspires to be a racing driver, tomorrow is the most important day of my career up to this point in my life. For the first time, I'm going to be seeing my X30 cart in person, and over the next three days, that's all the time I'm gonna have to prepare for my first ever race. Now, this usually wouldn't be a big problem, but my only experience in carts of this kind of caliber is in an LO206, which is half the speed, and even then I was not physically or mentally prepared for the challenges of that cart. Now I'm gonna have the next three days to get over my mental fears and my physical incapabilities to prepare for my first race, which is two weeks after that. It's gonna be a three hour drive to Oakland Valley Race Park in New York, and I can't wait to step into my cart for the first time. I'll see you guys on the track. here at uh, the race park got the cart behind me she's pretty it's my first time seeing it I'm about to go on track adrenaline is pumping um, I honestly have no clue what I'm gonna be doing out there I've I know most of the basics from rentals but whenever it comes to actually controlling a cart like this and the race craft of uh, racing carts of higher power I have no clue what I'm doing so it's really gonna be an interesting session hopefully I don't crash hopefully nobody crashes into me and I'm really excited. So getting out on track for the first time was definitely an amazing experience. And well, I decided to kind of floor, floor the throttle in wet conditions, which wasn't such a great idea. And as you can see, I spun out literally the second I got onto track for the first time. Now, this session was pretty much just about understanding and feeling out the cart. Now, I obviously did not expect to push the cart at all or go any sort of speed, not only because it was wet, but also because, well, I don't know what I'm doing. And as you can see, uh, well, that doesn't go very well as I already get stuck into the grass. Now, we got pushed out by one of the marshals with muddy tires and we try to continue. But up coming to the next corner, what do we do? You guessed it, we spun out. Now, pretty much this entire session was just spin after spin after spin after spin after mistake after mistake after mistake. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing because this allows me to understand the car more by over pushing it over the limit. Um, but at the same time, you know, it wasn't exactly very fun. At the end of the session, we stalled it during the hairpin and, well, that was pretty much the wrap up from there. The session of after that was my driest session of the day. We were able to push the cart a lot more, but um, definitely not a lot since, you know, of course I'm just a beginner. So here I was just trying to feel out the cart and feel how, is it, how it performs in dry conditions. Now overall we were definitely able to improve our lap time, obviously because of the rain, but I still was not confident at all in the cart. Now, at the end of the session, we ran into a little bit of an issue. Now, I just want you to hear and pay attention to how this cart's about to sound. Yeah, so that wasn't me, like, going on and off the, uh, brake or throttle or anything. That's just the cart cutting out. Um, at the time, I had no clue what was going on and was really scared, so I came into the pits. Uh, turns out, luckily, I just ran out of fuel. Um, so, I mean, I looked in the uh, in the fuel tank and I saw that there was still fuel in it, so I thought it was, it was fine and it was something else like having to do with the engine, but uh, I guess they just start cutting out whenever they're low on fuel like that. So, I guess um, that's a good thing. Now in my final session, you'll notice something uh, a little funny happened. Um, the chain protector fell off the cart in the lap before, so I decided to just pick it up and take it back to the pits. Now, I must uh, announce that I was not endangering anybody by slowing down on the racing line or anything, because there wasn't anybody else on track at the time. 
but yeah, this was definitely a little bit of an interesting moment. Now, my final session was definitely the most wet. Um, this was probably the session that I built the most car control over, because at the same time, I kind of knew how the cart uh, controlled from the previous sessions, but in this session, I also had a lot less grip, so I was able to kind of experiment with the limit and sliding and all that. So it was definitely a very informative session, even though I wasn't quite going nearly as fast. So the first day, on the right there, there was an earthquake. Um, then once we hit the track, right before we started hitting the track, it started sleeting. Just pouring sleet. Obviously not a great thing for a first timer. Tires were wet, track was damp. I go out there, zero grip, nothing, nothing to hold on to at all which was a big challenge since I don't know how to control these cards yet. So obviously I had a lot of spins. I had a lot of challenges. I could not push the card at all, but I did make a very good advancement in my driving technique before I was cramping up and tensing up a lot. Uh, now I know to just try to relax my muscles, try to relax a lot, and the physical burden will be a lot, lot less. And it'll allow me to focus on the actual driving more. Uh, in the second session, it was pretty much dried up because it did uh, sleet a little bit, but people be it before me got on track first. So I was able to mostly push the cart there, try to get grips onto how it felt. And then after that, it sleeted again, and it was worse than the first time, and there was nobody out on track before that, so it was just super damp, no grip at all, super wet tires. Um, one of the micro carts actually had wet tires on them because they thought they would need it. And it was, I, I mean, I would just turn the steering wheel, it would just go straight. So we had absolutely no grip, but we had a lot of progress in understanding the cart. We got it running. I had to get a seat changed. The radiator wasn't uh, filled with water for my first couple of sessions, so we almost cooked the top end. Um, but overall, some pretty good advancements, and I'm happy for a first day. I'll see you guys in day two. So we're at the track again. Uh, looks like there's not going to be any rain or anything, luckily. I don't really know how the cart's going to handle yet, because I've never driven in the wet before, and I've never been able to compare that to dry racing, but hopefully it's a lot, a lot easier. It wasn't too damp yesterday, but it was enough to definitely impair the handling of the cart so hopefully it's gonna be a lot easier um, right now I'm still just trying to get comfortable in the car maybe pick up my lap times to get more confident with the braking and I'm really excited for this one hopefully we can settle in a little bit more with less issues now this uh, this session on day two was mostly just about getting up to pace and improving my consistency in the car in dry conditions. Overall, I was very happy with my progress in this, and I was able to pick up my pace a lot. I was really trying to find the uh, limit whenever it comes to braking force and the racing line of the track, and also trying to get my power on at just the right time. Overall, this was more of a track learning session and slightly developing my driver skills. And now for a second, I'll just shut up and show you my best lap for the second day. Yeah, overall, very happy with what I learned that day. From the start to the end of this uh, of the sessions, I definitely improved my pace by probably multiple seconds. I would say around like two to three seconds, which is amazing. Um, 
But yeah, overall, a very, very successful day. So that's the end of day two. The two engines, a couple of spare parts came in. I was able to fix the battery problem with three batteries that the guy that we bought it from just gave us, which is awesome. Um, a lot, the track was a lot drier. It was completely dry and the difference in grip was insane. I really thought that I was just going slow, but it was completely just the dampness of the track. And I was definitely able to be a lot more consistent and I learned a lot more about the cart. Um, I really need to focus on adjusting my lines now and getting the perfect amount of braking pressure on each corner. It did snow just for like a couple of seconds at the start, which really scared me, but luckily that was only a thing that happened for a couple of seconds and it did not really affect anything. It was still very cold though, so grip wasn't at maximum, but it was still good enough to be able to really test the car in decent conditions. Overall, I feel like I'm improving my pace a lot and getting more comfortable in the cart. As far as physicality goes, I know I need to train my neck, triceps, and forearms, my grip strength, a lot. Uh, but one of the guys gave, uh, there gave me a tip that I'm supposed to push on the wheel uh, decently hard. I knew that you were always supposed to do this, but I didn't realize what the reason was, so I just kind of ignored it. Um, but it helps to lock up your shoulders and puts more pressure on, uh, spreads the pressure across your arm rather than destroy your fingers and grip strength. So definitely learned a lot throughout the session. I'm very happy with it. And I'll see you guys in the final day, day three. So day three was definitely an interesting one. Now I was definitely able to learn a lot more about the track and the racing lines and such, and was still able to experiment with the grip of the car. However, it actually was not my fastest session. Why? It's because of the previous two sessions had uh, completely destroyed my neck and I was extremely sore. So by the end of all of the sessions in day three, I was coming in early and I was, you know, just overall very tired and I was unable to consistently drive the car the way that I wanted to. Now, this isn't a huge problem since, you know, of course, my goal of this was to uh, learn more about the track and about the car, which this session allowed me to do. I just wasn't able to really put those things into practice as well I, as I would have been able to in other sessions. And I also only did uh, two sessions in this day because my neck was so tired and of course I did have to get back home and it is a three hour drive. Even though it was a more tricky session, it was definitely a very successful one. I also probably built a bit of neck strength, which I am going to do more at home with uh, neck training bands and such, but this also probably helped. Overall, uh, a good session, not quite as improving as the other two sessions, but that's also expected since, you know, your slope, your progression slows down a bit uh, as you progress. So we've done it. We're back at home. Now, long story short, we had a lot of challenges. Uh, it was wet for my first session, which is, you know, not very easy to control, especially for a first timer. Um, we almost fried the top end. We ran out of fuel and thought that it was an engine problem, which really, really stressed me out. Uh, we didn't have a battery, and the seat didn't fit. So these are all, you know, pretty, pretty extreme problems. Some of them, some of them not so much, but a lot of extreme problems. And, but the thing is about that, they also give me experience. So it's good that I had them early and learn how to deal with them rather than have them later and not know how to deal with them. And the thing is with that uh, rain stuff is that because it was on my first day, it gave me tons of car control. I was able to learn car control a lot quicker than I would have in the dry. Um, so as far as pace goes, it looks like I'm about two seconds off what I'm supposed to be, and I was on the raw tires. I'm supposed to be running 
uh, MG yellow tires while I was running MG red tires, which are a significantly harder and less grippy uh, tire. So that means I was definitely losing a couple of tenths off that. Not to mention, I also did not tune my tires, so I was probably running the wrong uh, tire pressure. And I did not adjust my cart tuning at all because I didn't have the tools to. So everything but the gear probably wasn't dialed in correctly. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the progress I've made, and I can't wait to see how I do in a race with the right tires on. Um, but of course, I will need to definitely train a lot, especially my neck. That's my biggest weak point to be able to uh, last the full sessions. Because during the end, especially on like the last day when my neck was already tired from the previous days, I literally could not do the entire practice session because my neck like just couldn't hold up at all. So I definitely have some work to do, but in total, it was a great success, and I'm really excited to see how I do in the future. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and or subscribe, and if you would like to support the channel further, check out the links in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.